Welcome to the HFT Stocks and Options Commentary. I'm Pablo Navarro. Today is Monday, March 4, 2013. For the market internals, the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline differential closed at 305. NASDAQ advanced decline differential closed at 186. We had 66 new 52-week highs for the S&P 500 and 6 new 52-week lows for the S&P 500. For the volatility index, the dollar-weighted put-call ratio on the VIX we got a neutral reading on March, April, May, and June. The biggest percentage premiums were on March with 50%, April with 29%, and June with 14%. Here we have the daily chart for SPX here. We have an interesting close here at the highs of the day, which was important after we were lower on this morning. Friday we have non-farm payrolls which is going to be important what's going to drive the next couple of weeks and here we have it finishing at the highs of the day maybe we're going to try to test that high we have for the year so far in case we fail and we get a bad number I think that's going to be an important level here and maybe start shorting the market this is going to be the third time we try to go for that high and let's see if we're going to be able to be breaking it for the queues, here we have the daily chart for the queues, again finishing up 0.5, 45% for the day. We continue to be on the tight range for the queues and Apple is holding this one a lot here. We're going to look at Apple later for IWM chart. This is the Russell 2000 ETF, here you can see it. We've been kind of lagging this one. I think we're not going to make a substantial new high in the case that we do so I remain neutral here for IWM just more like watching and seeing what the action is so far if we go to the precious metals here we have GLD and you can see here we have some pressure to the downside I continue to believe we're going to come and test here this low here around 150.84 and then that low is going to be taken away so I'm bearish on GLD looking for 149, 148 level. As for SLV, we've also been bearish on SLV for a while now. Right now at 27.60, I'm looking for taking this previous low here. At 27.35, going to 27 and even next going lower on the next leg. I have a final target of 25, which that's going to be important. Of course, that's not going to happen this week. But that's the target on SLV. We've been bearish for a while now. Going to the stock side. Here we have Apple down 2.4% for the day. Big down day here. After breaking the range, big down day Friday. So that's important here. We need to hold this level. Maybe get a bounce tomorrow on the day after. Or at least this week. Because we're getting two levels that are important. Maybe going to the 14-13 level. That's our first su support on the downside. And then 400, which is going to be an important psychological level. So let's see what happens with Apple here. In my opinion, it's oversold, but the chart continues to say that we're going lower. So why trade it to the upside when the chart says otherwise? For Amazon, 2.7% up for the day. Pretty nice day for Amazon here. And looks like it wants to go and test that high it made, it all-time high. I'm pretty neutral here on Amazon. It's been a pretty choppy trade lately. So I, I would just stay away from this name. Google. Very nice chart here. Up 1.9% for the day making a new all-time high. We've talked about it last week saying that if it made a new high, go with it and buy it there on a breakout. I like Google here. But if you didn't come in this morning, maybe you're trying to chase it down here. Up here, sorry. So that's what I'm looking for Google, Facebook, here we have FB and it continues to hold the support level. It's in between the 100 day moving average and the 255 and, and the 55 day moving average. Pretty tight range here so let's look some consolidation around this name to see what happens next. Netflix, down 4.3% for the day. We were down over 5%. We're holding support here, but looks like we're making a new lower high here. I wouldn't be as bullish on this name as I was last week's. 
because we're starting to lose some momentum maybe consolidate around this 190 180 period for a while maybe before making the next move I wouldn't trade this one for the upside only for a day trade or so last chart we're gonna look at is caterpillar here we have the caterpillar chart trading right now at 89 even the market was going higher the Dow was going higher we were down 1.7 percent we're holding the 100 day moving average so far but I, were go I think we're going to test the 200 at 88 that's going to be the target for Caterpillar and I have a bearish bias on this name. 